Thoughts on Nebula's $250 lifetime membership. Isn't video streaming expensive? Did we talk about this already? Or did you and I just talk about that? I think you and I were talking about that. Yeah, it's... um. Ooh. Okay, so Nebula is an interesting model, right? As far as I can tell, um, not a lot of people are actually watching on the site. And that doesn't really matter to them. Like, I don't think, I don't think that really matters because it's far more of a just like, hey, I want to support creators. Uh, here's a very sort of small amount of financial contribution um, of which very little makes its way to the, you know, the individual creator, right? Because you're not subscribing to an individual creator, you're subscribing to the entire platform. So each creator is getting a very small fraction of, of that amount. That's just sort of inherent. If you, if you actually watched a lot on the platform. Um, but the benefit of it is that they can achieve uh, a level of scale that particularly boosted by the cross promotion that they do with curiosity stream has enabled them to reach um, a subscriber count that is that is quite substantial so they've got the subs they've got these subscribers right um they've got this sort of uh yeah so they've got this user count they've got this roster of creators that as far as i can tell are not really making a, a ton of money just from like nebula payouts um as far as i can tell a lot of the a lot of the financial incentive for creators is promoting subscribing to curiosity stream because it includes nebula um and so which is good for creators because they get some revenue from Nebula, but more importantly, they have an ownership stake in Nebula. So any creators who join Nebula have an ownership stake in the platform. And that's, as far as I can tell, as an outsider, the the real point. Uh, I don't think the point is the actual monthly checks that a creator with, you know, 20,000 YouTube subscribers and however many people are watching them on Nebula, because you can kind of extrapolate that it's like probably like four people, right? So I, I don't think they're getting a significant amount of money on a monthly basis from Nebula. But I think the goal is that when Nebula exits, when it sells, um, everyone who joined as a creator, um, everyone who joined as a creator is going to get a piece of that action. So with that in mind, what does a $250 lifetime subscription to a streaming platform look like? Well, it looks like a streaming platform that doesn't actually stream a lot of video, uh, wanting to boost subscriber counts so that when they eventually exit in some way or IPO or whatever it is that they plan to do, they will be able to have a bigger payout for their shareholders who are the creators, which is not a bad thing. It's just a very different model from the way that we structure things, which is generally more ongoing sustainability and less um, exit strategy. Focused. You also sometimes just need a burst of, I've been trying to respond to messages, so I didn't listen to all of that, but you sometimes need a burst of income if you're trying to avoid outside investor stuff. And it might be worth lower returns in the future for that burst of income now, depending on what you're trying to do. 